Edge Trans. I gotta read this because if I think Clyde's right, Clyde might be right here, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm just telling you, I said this months ago. We, we, we might have our shot here. The heavy grenade launcher is a longtime fan favorite and most often requested weapon to reprise in this list by far. Okay, not really, but the ridiculous drop rate in early Forsaken was a persistent meme that we couldn't resist including it in and turning it into one of the strongest grenade launchers in the entire game. With the greatest hits of the grenade launcher damage perks and one particularly spicy option of cascade point in the third column, with chain reaction getting buffed on the drum grenade launchers in the final shape, the chain reaction plus the stabilizing rounds combo provides some of the most potent ad clear in the game. And Cascade Point plus Bait and Switch is particularly synergistic for a single target damage. Did they just say Cascade and Bait and Switch? This weapon is also why we pulled the Heavy Grenade Launcher buff from the Final Shape update. And the perks are, drum roll please. Chain Reaction, Cascade Point, Impulse Amplifier, Field Prep, ambitious assassin envious assassin and repulsor brace the fourth column is frenzy the stabilizing rounds deconstruction one for all bait and switch full court and explosive light ladies and gentlemen we're free we don't have to play trials and bungie just made envious assassin and bait and switch edge transit to give it enhanced perks june 4th i called it i said they were gonna give us a grenade launcher to replace the cataphract i fucking called it when i deleted that god roll when we photoshopped it months ago i told everybody that bungie would not hide a current meta weapon behind trials so that everybody, their mom and their sister, even their grandma and their fish named Chuck is gonna have the edge transit. God roll, cataphract, we're free. We don't need to play trials. The God roll edge transit is coming. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, Envious Assassin and Bait and Switch cataphract will do just about as much damage as rockets, if not more. And it's good for dumping and it's good for having 29 shots. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, even though this doesn't have spike, and even though it took me 100 engrams to get, this is not photoshopped. This one's real. Bungie's in the kitchen once again. We're cooking today. Just want to point out the meme lives on with the Eng Transit. We'll get to that soon, but let's talk about the new weapons that are coming with Into the Light. First, want to point out that there's an intrinsic perk on all these weapons that are going to make them really cool and could be fan favorites. Indomitability is the intrinsic perk of the weapons. Final blows grant grenade energy when playing on a light subclass or melee energy on a dark subclass. So it could have like built-in demolitionists already in the weapon or for your melees which could cook with certain builds. Forbearance. Every time I used Forbearance, you guys always asked, what is this weapon? Well, you get it from Val the Disciple, but now you're going to be able to get it in the Onslaught with the new Into the Light stuff. Ambitious Chain Reaction is what we originally have crafted on our weapons, but it's going to be dropping with perks like Demolitionist and Disruption Break and these other perks. So the, the possibilities of the combo of this wave frame grenade launcher could be even better. Secession, hands down, from Deepstone Crypt is one of the best legendary snipers that you're not using besides like a rapid frame or an Izanagi. Secession is always my go-to fan favorite for sure. And getting stuff like recombination on it with reconstruction, old school roll, lead from gold, firing line. The possibilities are endless with this sniper. So if you're looking for a good kinetic sniper, this one's for you. Falling guillotine definitely reminds me of the paddle from uh, Dazed and Confused. That's for the boomers out there. Running around with a sword on a void hunter or any void subclass is kind of fun because you can play into making yourself invis or just playing with Gyro Falcon. Definitely fun. Going to be running around with the stabilizing rounds, repulsor brace or just bait and switch the fact that we have the slammer sword and now we have fallen guillotine to add to the arsenal is pretty good i think you guys will enjoy this sword for sure i'm kind of blown away with recluse right now because it plays into the void build repulsor brace stabilizing rounds it might be tough taking off beating frenzy off of the recluse because we were so used to getting a kill reloading and just having that snappy feel kind of the way funnel web feels remember funnel web doesn't have the reload perk like feeding frenzy it has perpetual motion so i think that people might put down their funnel webs and kind of make their way over to the recluse but remember that master of arms did get nerfed it's a flat 15 percent now but i think master of arms is better to proc than frenzy that way you don't have to be in battle so much and refresh it so we're gonna have fun with this boy oh boy standing in a luna faction well back in the day spamming of the mountaintop with anarchy or other weapons was definitely fun but boring but mountaintop's coming back you're gonna have some cool movement tech you're gonna be able to launch yourself in the air and do some cool skating 
you never know but with mountaintop coming back auto loading is definitely on my radar being able to use mountaintop for a swap weapon that missile does a lot of damage so being able to have auto loading with a vorpal perk or frenzy or running around just shooting a mountaintop throughout the whole strike or nightfall whatever you're doing could be pretty fun as well hammerhead this void machine gun i don't want to say it too quick but hammerhead might replace commemoration the fact that commemoration does have reconstruction on it and it does have subsistence with killing tally it's nice to not be able to reload a lot but with rampage and killing tally being able to ramp up both perks at the same time and have double damage perks this void machine gun might melt champions and melt everything in its way all we got to do is have a cenotaph warlock with us and make unlimited heavy bricks right blast furnace was definitely a pvp favorite for everybody and this just reminds me of the foundries and the forges uh one of the best peak destiny content out there this thing is going to burn you down in crucible you're probably not going to like it they're going to two burst you if the perks are set right probably with head seeker you guys know i'm not really a pvp guy but these perks look promising on the blast furnace and the moment we've all been waiting for the edge transit the meme lives on i killed riven with this we had 50 in our vaults i actually ended up getting about 45 of them in one week in forsaken days but the trials gl that we deleted not once but twice it can drop with envious assassin and bait and switch so now you don't have to go play trials you're gonna have a damage perk also this gets bait and switch with cascade points so you can dump even faster on june 4th when final shape drops you can actually enhance these perks this is going to probably be the best dps gl in the game it's kind of funny that bungie's embracing this but i told you that bungie would not let casual players go without having a dps weapon i hate to say i told you so but i'll take that comment now luna's howl used to be a 180 it used to terrorize pvp with magnificent howl perk it was very easy to two tap people so bungie switched it up made it a 140 they actually changed the perk as well so we don't know if it's going to terrorize like it used to but with these perks with the third column perks the fourth column perks you know slide shot with magnificent howl could be really good again they did make a note that not forgotten is not coming back in this release but they do want to find a way to bring it back down the road so more hand cannons to terrorize us in the crucible midnight coup i have one in my vault i deleted one with 100k kills i think the one in my vault right now has got like 36,000. The fact that you can get stuff like explosive payload and firefly in the first slot and then kinetic tremors and rampage in the second or you can go old school with outlaw rampage me personally i think bungie has to buff hand cannons a little bit more in pve for me to use them running around with like a fate bringer to stun champions in the lost sector i'll do but it's really tough for me to like take off sunshot and use a legendary hand cannon in true end game pve but hey other than that run around enjoy it kinetic tremors it's the og midnight coup and it's gonna feel good and it feels really smooth when you shoot it too so enjoy that one hung jury's coming back yes for the 18th millionth time i don't know why they bring back a gm weapon you could get this in the in the gms they did want to update the perk pool a lot of people do like kinetic tremors on this this actually was really good with box breathing and pvp but with, with these new perks down i don't really see any reason for me to actually farm this uh, i'm more of a uh night watch and vowed safe guy myself elsie's rifle the stranger's rifle from d1 we all remember it goes from the stranger's rifle it goes to the fate of all fools it goes to the no time to explain i mean the, the list goes on this weapon they just put in for nostalgia bait but it's okay enjoy the pulse rifle i think you'll uh, have a good time with it i do want to point out that this is very important and i don't want you to get it twisted on april 9th these weapons will be launching recluse hung jury secession edge transit elsie's rifle and fallen guillotine the rest will be put on a rotator each week this is good because we all know you're going to go for the super black shader anyways and then farm those weapons that are available on the ninth and then target farm the new ones like mountaintop and hammerhead that are coming down the road i think this is good so you don't feel overwhelmed and don't have to worry about getting all the weapons right off the rip and enjoy the first week get the weapons you want and then wait for the newer weapons to come out that you haven't got yet target farm them enjoy the god rolls enhance them june 4th we're ready enjoy those weapons